Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. We're going to start out today's episode by taking a walk down to Ainsley's Lot, uh, which we are going to be calling from this day forward. I think we're going to call it The Nest. I think that's what they said. Uh, they're, they're going to coin that name for their, uh, for their property, their home down there right now. And we'll let Ainsley talk a little bit more about that later on. Well, we're going to take a walk. We're going to do a quick update. I think I'm going to leave some time-lapse video going on the construction of what they're doing there this morning. Then I have to get back here because there are many things that are going on in the basement. From yesterday, you saw the bamboo episode uh, and lots of great, lots of great responses, replies, comments, uh, corrections, uh, recommendations, lots of those kinds of things. I like that. I like that when we have interaction uh, from people from the, our viewing audience here on My PI Dream. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and check out down there, see where they are on today's project, and then head back up here. I still have a lot of work I need to do here at Villa Feliz. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now from behind the blue tarp we have right here, I hear the excavator doing some work. Uh, and they've had the excavator there for a couple of days now. So I imagine there's a lot of trenching that's going on to assist, uh, to provide a little bit of uh, assistance so that the, the manual labor doesn't have to dig quite so much, as well as clearing the lot. Well, it looks like the homeowner or the contractor not here this morning, but oh, it looks like we are doing a lot of good work here with the excavation to help out get these trenches dug for the beams and the footers. So what I'm going to do, since there's really no one to talk to around here today, as far as uh, what the plans are for the day, we're gonna just leave some time-lapse video going and then go get back to work over at Villa Feliz. And then what we'll do is we'll come back here later on in the afternoon and hopefully get an update on what's going on here. Now since they are doing just digging with the excavator and a little bit of manual hand digging over there for the beams and the footers on Ainsley's project, uh, we're back here inside the basement. There's not much more I can do over there at that build because one, the contractor's not there, two, the homeowner's not there, so I don't really know what the plans are uh, looking forward. So we'll just allow the time-lapse video to watch the excavator do most of the excavating over there. And then what we'll do here, we'll focus the attention on what I'm going to do here today. Now I don't really have a full plan because there's several things that are going on. One of the things is the bamboo project. Another thing is the platform project. Uh, oh, by the way, let's take a look at the platform with the, uh, the couch and chair. I fitted them last night and I think it's going to work just fine. Now as you can see, we have plenty of room here. There's plenty of room to get up here and walk up on, on, the, on the raised elevation of the platform. Uh, there's plenty of room for the seats to actually fold out without kicking the back of the other seats in front of them. And of course, we could always move these. Anything can be moved around here uh, for accessibility and for placement. The only thing that really can't be much changed since I built it on this angle, and this is what I was talking about, single chair under behind a double, uh, double behind a single. So let's look at the vantage point of sitting here on the double. So if you're watching a movie, on that wall or a drop down projector up there, you have plenty of room, plenty of room. Whether you sit in that seat, whether you sit in this seat right here, and for this one right here, now we are above, uh, and we can move these seats a little bit further in or move that out just a little bit so you're actually centered on these chairs here. So I think the placement is perfect. I, I don't think there's a better way really to do this. Well, there's always a better way, but I think this is the best for our viewing situation. Now I talked about having leftover tiles and trying to utilize those, but I don't have them in the right color. 
Uh, all these towels that we have here, I have one box of four that my contractor bought the wrong color, and it isn't any of these uh, three colors that we have down here. Because if you look, we basically have uh, a light, it's like a light gray. We have, a, and it's not called gray, there's another name for it, uh, but I can't remember the name. And we have one that's a little bit darker, and then we have one that has a little bit of chocolate uh, brown inside it as well. So we have three colors. So when I'm setting up pattern, what I have is I number these from lighter to darker. So this would be one, two, and three. Now let me show you what I did on my diagram over here. Uh, on my diagram, I set up, because this is pretty much where we're going to place it. So what I did, I used the same exact pattern. I took extra wood that I have over on the side, and I placed it in the exact same location that the, that pattern is over there, over here. And I was able to mark out the exact tiles that I need. And I marked them down, one, two, and three. Uh, one, two, and three. So the three here, you see three, 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 this diamond of the darker tiles, this is one, two, three, four. That's the three there. And you have the two lighter than that one, which would be number two. And that's these two right here. So on and so forth. You get the, you get the gist of what I'm trying to explain. So I decided how many tiles I need, and I marked them down on the other side. So to do that project, I would need a quantity of 17 tiles. And I already have five. Out of the, of the eight, I have nine, nine tiles left over from the project. And out of those nine tiles, uh, five of those are number two, the middle color. So I don't have to buy those. So I actually need, um, let's see, seven, 10, 11, 12. I need 12, I need 12 tiles if I want to match this up. Now, there was a lot of really great suggestions that came in about making sure you don't trip uh, over over the, uh, the platform. Uh, maybe you might, mm, take advantage of the tiki bar <laughs> over here and and you don't want to trip over anything so what we might do and it's a good idea maybe we'll put some kind of edging across here that will alert you to uh, a step up or we might do something even fancier and I'll, I already have it in my mind what I'd like to do but I, I will leave that for a surprise for later on if I decide to do that or if I don't decide to do that then we'll just forget about it so anyway uh, so let's see this project needs to be worked on today also continuing with the bamboo so let me show you what I did yesterday with the bamboo and that torch that you saw sitting over there on on the counter on the bar now I also did some some detailed accenting with the torch. I dried out some of the wood just a little bit. And it still has a very nice luster. I don't know if you can see it on here. Um, one of the one of the comments that if you if you take off the green, uh, you're going to destroy uh, the bamboo. But I looked at some other sites on YouTube, and I saw other people using that technique as well. And it's still it's still shiny. You see, it's still shiny after I took that off, and I used the torch to do a little detailing around the nodes here where the, the leaves and the branches come off. So what you're gonna see, this will be something like this right here. It'll fit up underneath there. And that's the kind of detail. Can you imagine it all the way around? Uh, then I'm not sure uh, the ceiling, whether I'm going to use the ceiling uh, process that we talked about earlier, but we'll see. Now this, uh, a lot of people ask the question about these things right here. These are edge, edge molding. And the way these work, if you're putting tiles, if you're doing tiles, let's go ahead and go right here to this section right here. If you are doing tiles, you can put a tile uh, on the top section here that goes across here and let this do a little bit of overhang and then the other piece of tile meets up underneath here. So it ends up looking like I showed you earlier, like this right here. Uh, so it gives a very nice clean finish to the edge and it's also better because sometimes in the Philippines what they'll do, they'll do tile to tile and it's very sharp where the tile hits the tile. It's, you can actually hurt yourself, but this is plastic. So for some reason, if you fell down or something like that, this is not gonna do nearly as much damage as a sharp piece of tile. All right, well, I made a command decision. I'm going to finish up this platform. I need to get the rest of the wood on top. It's not much, it's just a couple pieces of plywood I need to cut to cover up this area. First task of the day. So anyway, change of plans. Change whatever. I don't know what number we are in change on this design. Uh, but I want to use this HQ 
uh, stair threads. That's these these stair threads, and we've used this throughout the build here at Villa Feliz. Uh, so we don't have enough. I still need about 30 of these tiles. So we called around to all the local wool cons, which is where we purchased it from, was from a wool wool con branch, and the only place that they say has it in stock. Uh, is in a location that's pretty far from here, uh, San Pablo. But we're going to hopefully be able to secure enough to finish that portion right there. And I need to pick up some other things anyway. So tomorrow will be a build day uh, on Sunday. But today is basically our opportunity to secure the building supplies and resources necessary so that I can continue tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and hit the road and go on a road trip, try to pick up some supplies. It's going to be a long day. Well, I'm going to pause here for a moment. You can see how much I got done. This was, it took me about 45 minutes, I think, is what uh, this portion uh, I just completed. Now, uh, my recommendation, and this is for me, this is my rule of thumb. If you're going to be mixing up uh, some tile adhesive or concrete mix, but mainly tile adhesive, uh, my recommendation is to uh, don't mix up more than you can apply in about a 30-minute period. So you kind of calculate how much you want to mix up based upon the amount that you think you can lay in about a 30 minute period. Because what happens after a while is the tile adhesive, it's starting to cure. And if it cures and it gets too hard, then it won't have the bonding uh, characteristics that you need uh, to um, get a good adhesion between your tile and whatever your base uh, material is going to be. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people saying, James, you are putting tile on top of wood. Now if you're from the Philippines, you probably think that's a crazy idea, but this is done all the time uh, in construction in the U.S. Remember that in the U.S. we don't have, well most people, I'm going to say 99% of households uh, do not build their floor, especially their second floor or above, maybe sometimes for the foundation on the ground floor, might, might be a concrete slab, but most of the construction is done with wood. So it's going to be some type of uh, a stud inside for the framing, and then it's going to be plywood just like this here, three quarters or five eighths inch plywood. And then when people put tile down inside their house, they put the tile directly on top of the wood. Now, my recommendation is to make sure, I don't know if you caught it in the time lapse, but I put some water inside the wood. You're probably gonna say, James, putting water in wood, that's a crazy thing. Well, it's not because it's gonna dry quickly at this stage right here. It will be dried and it won't rot and it won't attract termites at this period right here. Uh, so uh, when you put the water on the wood, it gives a better adhesion between the tile adhesive uh, and the wood. And then the bottom of your tile, make sure you wet it as well because it will give better bonding strength between the tile and the tile adhesive. Uh, now, if to do this right on a on a, especially a big section of floor, if it's wood, you should have some kind of decoupler. I use, when I build inside the US and I'm putting tile down on a floor, uh, I use a, a product, I believe the company uh, it's a German company, and I think uh, a Dietra, I think, I think uh, I'm not sure if Dietra is the name of the product or the name of uh, the company, but it's a decoupling. Uh, and if you look at one of my older do-it-yourself do it projects of the renovation of our 
uh, comfort room, our bathroom in the US, you'll see on the floor, I put a decoupler down. And basically what you do, you use from the, from the wood, you put a layer, a very thin layer of tile adhesive, and it will be a modified tile adhesive. The modified tile adhesive has a characteristic, when you cover it, it will, uh, it will dry. It will dry without having to have the air outside, because if you don't have air to dry, uh, you'll never get a, it takes a lot longer to dry. Uh, so you will put basically your tile adhesive on the wood, a decoupler like that product I was talking about uh, that the German company makes, uh, and it has like honeycombs all over it. And then on top of the, on top of the fabric, the decoupling fabric, you put, uh, you put unmodified uh, tile adhesive, you lay it down, and then you lay your tile on top of that. Basically the same method that we're going to be using here. Now what that does, if you have any movement inside the floor, the movement will go into the uh, decoupling uh, layer. Uh, dec and it sort of looks like some plastic, plastic honeycomb and it won't crack your tile. Well, we don't have that. I haven't been able to find that here in the Philippines. But if you can get that, if you're planning on doing something like this, building on top of wood, and if you can get a hold of that product, that's a great product to have. And I'll try to put a, uh, a link to that in today's episode. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break. It's, it's 11.35 and it's about lunchtime. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then I'll continue uh, the rest of it. Now, uh, another comment on this. Uh, make sure that when you're putting your tile on, this is the edging, uh, make sure that it's level both in this direction and in this direction. And you try to line up using your uh, level or any straight edge possible, all the edges as straight as possible. Also, if you're doing something like this where you are making a frame, then inside the frame you're going to be putting this type of tile. You want to make sure the inside of your edge guard uh, these are stair threads, uh, what we're using right here. It's a non-slip uh, stair thread. And what you want to make sure this is as clean as possible on the inside. So when you lay down your uh, main tile on the inside, it comes as close as possible to this. Now we're not going to put any uh, grout in here. We're doing a groutless, uh, a groutless uh, a floor here. And the reason I'm doing that is because the small, small half a millimeter space uh, between each one of the tiles is going to act like an expansion joint, which it's really not going to expand, but for some reason, if there is any give, since I don't have that uh, decoupling sheet that goes underneath it, uh, the place it's going to move the most will be in between uh, the tile. If you have grout in there, there's a possibility that you might get a crack, but if you have a small, small, small gap inside there, uh, that but will possibly uh, prevent the tile from cracking. Uh, anyway, so time to get some lunch, and then we'll come back here and we'll continue working on this project. All right, well, this is as far as we're going to go today. I'm going to allow the stair thread uh, that I put around the edge. That's basically going to be the frame for the tile that's over here. It's going to go inside. Uh, I'm going to allow that to dry 100%. Uh, I don't want to accidentally step on it and knock over a piece and have to redo it. So we'll let that dry and then tomorrow uh, we will start doing the inside. We'll start doing the fill-in. Basically, I, I kind of want to do the pattern. Now you see the pattern here? I just want the pattern to look like it just is right on top of the pattern below it. So it blends in perfectly with the pattern that we have for the floor here. Uh, then the next thing I'm going to do after that gets done, that's going to take uh, a good portion of the day tomorrow to do that. Then we have to start doing stuff on the outside. Now I know you saw, I showed you the, uh, the light over here, the LED light. Well what the LED light is going to do, it's going to go right up underneath this section of the stair thread. Uh, and I'm thinking about putting it behind uh, some tile. I, this actually I kind of cut a little section out uh, with a I grinded it. I'm not sure that I'm going to use this because I'm not sure if I'm going to get enough light through this right here but I might. I might get enough just enough so that you can see that there's a step there. Uh, we'll test it out and this will go something like up underneath here and then we'll finish filling it in on the bottom either with this tile uh, the pieces that we uh, cut off the edges to make it match what's up in there, or we'll use a different tile. I'm not really sure uh, what's the best way to do that. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so that's it for today. And uh, I'm not gonna close out this video because it's mainly this project right here. Since I'm going to be working on this again directly tomorrow, uh, we'll continue here. All right, well, here it is. I don't know what day, day three. I think this might be day three in today's episode of working on the platform for the media room. Uh, so let me show you what I have done, what I've worked on this morning. I haven't been extremely busy because there was a lot of other things going on here in our household this morning. So uh, this is what I have right now. I have uh, some cut sections of the tile that's going to go into place here. It's kind of like checkers inside here, fitting the colors in with the space. I can't find my sheet. Remember the sheet I put down that has all the numbers for each one of the tiles that I used for the order of the additional tiles that we need. I don't know where it's at. I'm so disorganized these days. So anyway, I'm cutting the tiles out now. I'm going to pre-fit them in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my heavy duty tile adhesive over here, do a mixture, go ahead and put it into place and we'll tap it in and try to get rid of all the air pockets uh, so we don't have any uh, delaminations underneath that will cause potential cracking if you step on it. Now here, uh, these tiles over here, we did some really major heavy, heavy duty type of tapping and I, we're not gonna have to do it quite as much up here. It's gonna be a thinner layer. This was really thick. This is gonna be a thin layer of tile adhesive on this one. Of course, we're not driving a truck over this. We are driving a truck on this part of the garage inside here. Well, let me go ahead and get back started. Let me finish cutting the tiles and we'll go ahead and start putting them in with tile adhesive. Well, I have all but a couple of the small pieces, one there, one really tiny piece in the corner. Those are the last ones I'm going to cut after I go ahead and set these in place. So I'm going to mix up the tile adhesive. I got some ABC uh, heavy duty tile adhesive. Uh, we'll make a nice thin bed of the tile adhesive inside there and we'll tap the tiles in place. And the very last thing we'll do, those two small pieces of tile, I'll cut at the very last and then uh, I will finish up the project. Now, something I had to do, you probably didn't see. Well, you kind of did see. I did some with the grinder and some with the wet saw. Uh, you're probably saying, well, why didn't you do it all with the wet saw? Well, the wet saw can only do so many centimeters. I think a span of around, ooh, I'm gonna say around 60, maybe around 60. Even though these are 60 by 60, when you turn them at an angle, like a diamond shape kind of uh, to do the kind of cuts that we're doing here for this build uh, it goes beyond the maximum capability so I have to use the uh, the grinder to be able to cut those but they come out nice and clean it's just a little bit a little bit uh, more tedious a little bit more time consuming okay well let me go ahead and mix some, some tile adhesive and let's go ahead and start laying some of these tiles All right, I have the tile down. That's kind of neat, isn't it, how it matches? I, I kept the pattern, the same pattern from out here. I moved across the uh, top of the platform. So I still have to do the edge, the edging pieces, uh, but I will tell you, this is strong. I've already, this is from yesterday. I shouldn't be stepping on it right now. I should give it about 48 hours, uh, but it's very strong. All of that was done this morning. So uh, I will, I, I have an alibi here. I have an alibi. When I find, when I do something and it doesn't work out, uh, I have to share that with you. Because uh, normally uh, these edge tiles right here will, will work fine uh, between wood and tile. Now I think the material 
for the, for the stair thread on the outside, this material right here. I think this is, it's a different kind of material, I don't know, uh, from, the, from the regular tile. And it's possible, uh, using that technique I was telling you about wetting this first, uh, like you would normally do with standard tile, uh, maybe it doesn't apply with the ABC tile adhesive. I, I just don't know, but all I know is I had several of these, they fell off very easily, and they fell off clean. Uh, if you look, uh, very, very clean. Uh, really, no adhesion. I had no adhesion on it, hardly at all. But between the wood, the plywood, and the tile adhesion, the ABC tile adhesion, it was very strong. I spent quite a while breaking this off here. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to chisel it all off. So either I, I do an experiment and I try doing one without any, uh, any uh, water on the base of the stair thread or I decide to go with something like um, liquid nail. I could use liquid nail to replace all that. Anyway, I have to redo that. Uh, all of that, all the edge trim that's on there all has to come off. Uh, not not a big deal. It's just, it's just going to take some time and a little bit of effort. Uh, so uh, I still have to go back and fix that. But this will all be set and it will be very easy to put this on because I already have my tile in place and I will just slide it up uh, and level it against the tile. So that will be very easy to do. Anyway, uh, that's enough for this one. So I have to lit all because I did all of this section this morning. So the next thing I have to do uh, or that I want to do is, I, well I've already started is I started working on the bamboo. And when I talk about working on the bamboo, I'm doing the little accents of the, uh, the little burning, burning accents using the little torch here. Uh, use this little torch. And I want to go ahead and get as many of the bamboo uh, prepared as possible. Uh, then the next thing after that, of course, we talked about putting the stud inside there for the center support. I have to do it on both sides. Uh, and then we're going to start putting up bamboo poles on the wall. I think I am going to stop for tonight. I thought I would get a lot more done, but this is really time consuming. I've never worked with bamboo before, but it's actually pretty strong. When I'm doing the nailing, uh, and thank goodness for that stud that I installed earlier today, because uh, that's the center one, and that's the most important one. Uh, it kind of pulls uh, some of the warped bamboo into place. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's coming along a little bit tedious. Uh, but I believe we're making progress down here. Now, tomorrow is going to be a um, relatively non-project day, because tomorrow is, uh, we have a board meeting here for the Board of Directors for the Homeowners Association, and we're going to be visited uh, by one of the subscribers. He and, uh, he and his wife purchased a lot right across the street from us over here. Remember, uh, do you remember Gerard Newberg? Uh, he came here for a visit a while back, and uh, he looked at the lots and he said, oh, this is the place in the Philippines to be. So he bought the lot across the street from us. And now he's back uh, wherever he's working at or back in Canada. And his wife, his Asawa, is here. And uh, she's doing all the paperwork for the purchase of the lot. So uh, she'll be over for tomorrow and we'll have a meet and greet with uh, V. 
And uh, I think we have another visitor uh, that uh, sent an email as well. We'll see. We're always getting people dropping in left and right here all the time. So I'm going to give the tallities of underneath the tile for the platform an opportunity to cure properly. And then I, got, I have to fix that edge, the, the stair threads that I'm using for an edge border around it. Uh, that's going to be an all day project. I have a feeling for that. Uh, so I don't know when I'm going to get to that. Maybe Friday. I don't know. Well, I'm going to close out today's video here. Uh, several of the viewers, the subscribers, said uh, we haven't seen you in a while. And uh, the, so I don't continue doing the update and make this one really long video from day to day to day for this project right here. We'll close it out today and we'll just continue on in the next episode. Well, that's it for today. I think Nessa's cooking dinner upstairs. Time to get something to eat, try to get cleaned up. And then uh, tomorrow's going to be a busy day around here with Visitors and Homeowners Association. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video over the last few days of this project right here, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>